Welcome back everyone to another Grand Theft Auto 5 video and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys a really good RP method that you could be doing to level up fast for this new DLC update which was just released today. So before we actually begin with it let's go ahead and just give our daily shout outs to all of these people. So everyone you see below the screen here have been subscribed since the last video was published so thank you for that. And if you guys want to be in the next one, all you got to do is like, subscribe, hit the post notification bell, and then comment down below so I can see it, and then put it in the next video. Alright, let's go ahead and just begin with this. The first thing you want to do is you need to own an office. If you guys don't know how to do that, all you got to do is go into any online session, then open up your phone, go over to Money and Services, and then you want to head down to Dynasty 8 Real Estate, then you want to click on Dynasty Executive, and then you have two different options, which is all the offices and agencies. From here, you just want to click on Offices, and you get four different options to choose from. Now, if you guys have the Criminal Starter Pack, you can get the Maze Bank West for absolutely free. Now, the next thing you want to do is head to your office. Once you have arrived there, just go ahead and make your way to the computer. After that, you need to register as a CEO. And once you have that done, you can access the computer. So from here, we have three different options. The one you want to choose is the far left one, which is the special cargo. After that, click on warehouse map. And if you guys don't have one on, you'll see all the different options. So just make sure you have one bought. What you do, it's going to show this green icon and then you can select the number of crates that you want. Either two for 8,000 or three for 18,000. If you guys are more worried about RP and not, you know, really care about money, then do three. But if you guys are on a money limit, then I recommend just doing two because it's a good way to make money as well. Now, once you have that done, just complete the mission. So for this one, what I had to actually do was go use the Trackify app and then find the vehicle that had the goods in it. So this one actually had three of them that I had to go find. And of course, I don't know why, but it's always the last one. That you find has the goods in it once you do that just go ahead and get in the van and then drop it off to your warehouse and then you're completely done for this so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys exactly how much rp you get just for delivering the crates and not even selling it and there we go we made ourselves two thousand rp for just delivering the cargo and we're not even done yet for this what you want to do is make your way inside the your warehouse and then go over to the computer in it. Once you are here, you can select how many crates that you want to sell. So what I'm going to do is just sell all three because I want to get the most amount of RP as quickly as possible. Now for this one, what I had to do was enter the brigade truck or whatever it's called it and then deliver it to one certain area. And then that was it. I didn't have to get chased by anyone. No one killed me in the session. And I even got a $9,000 delivery bonus. For dropping off the deliveries, I made 2,500 RP, as well as $51,000, which is pretty good, but still not the best money method. Now, anyway, what we're going to do next is if you own a terabyte, this will make getting by especially easy. So if you have a terabyte, go ahead and request it because inside the terabyte, you can actually start up a special cargo job without having to go to your office. Now, if you don't own one, all you gotta do is go back to your office and then you can start it from there. Once we made it to the mission board, we have a ton of different ones we're gonna choose. Now, of course, the one we're doing special cargo and then we're going to do three crates for $18,000. So now again, we're gonna do the same thing this time, but it's going to be a different mission. What you had to do is collect the bullion, which was inside this money van the armored one that's used for the actual bank and then what we had to do then was go ahead and kill the officer surrounding it collect it and then deliver it back to our warehouse now luckily if you get the cops on you and since you are in an online session you can just call lester and get it removed so it's just as easy as that have you ever been broken gta and just wish you could go from this to that without spending a bunch of shark cards that go from a $99 just to a million. That could probably get you a couple cars, maybe some buildings and businesses, but nothing to what you need. Luckily, we have OP Mods. OP Mods is a GTA 5 money account and services website 
that's basically really trustworthy. Not only do they actually show their proof of work and have a 5 star rating of Trustpilot, but they're also a lot cheaper than the other GTA 5 competitors. And you can even use code discount legit for a 5% discount on all your purchases. Thank you and back to the video. And then once we got inside our warehouse, we made another at 2,000 RP for delivering it. So that was it for this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. If you did, feel free to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this. And with that being said, you guys have a great one. Stay safe out there and goodbye.